On to this now, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange has rolled out their enterprise development initiatives through a series of speed coaching sessions that are aimed at assisting small and medium enterprises to scale up, raise capital and create jobs. The online speed coaching is targeting founder-led entrepreneurial businesses that are South African and that have been in operation for at least two years. The head of the SME development at the JSE, Cleo Lagunene, is joining us via Zoom to take us through how you can be part of this program. Cleola, thank you so much and welcome to SME On Point. Tell us more about the speed coaching and the the success rate um, that you have seen all over the world, not just in South Africa, of taking entrepreneurs through speed coaching. What has been the efficacy of, of it? Good afternoon, Diablo. Thank you for having me. Uh, in terms of the JSE, our focus has been on economic development and supporting the growth of our economy. We've embarked on a SME development strategy that's in three parts. The first part is, is, is medium-sized enterprise acceleration, where we have a custom solution for companies that are, yes, over two years old and, and over 20 million in turnover, and but that is specifically for medium-sized enterprises, and we've seen significant growth in that space, uh, which includes job creation, acceleration into local and international markets, and access to funding uh, for both debt and equity funding. The second part is a platform that we launched end of last year called JPP, which is a capital raising platform, a private placement platform for SMEs that want to raise both equity and debt mm -hmm. from 1 million rand. And then the last piece is a term that we call a solution that we call incubator of incubators and the speed coaching fits in that. The speed coaching is very specifically development and we have seen significant success in how it's helped companies in terms of and their understanding on distinguishing their businesses and competing uh, effectively. Yeah. How speedy is the speed coaching? I'm trying to imagine it in my head and how it would practically work. Um, maybe paint, a, paint yes. a picture for us about how it works, Leola. The speed coaching uh, works through YouTube. It is an hour session and uh, it's online. So anyone can register for free. The speed coaching is with two panel experts. Um, the previous session, we had um, two marketing experts, uh, C-Suite, who are very well-known uh, names in the South African context. And we had over 300 participants that were on board, and they ask a series of rapid-fire questions, um, and then also ask a few questions, and we go through the topic in depth. We tackle it as a series. So, for instance, if we say marketing, we have about three topics within marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's funding, we'd have about three, three different topics in, in funding, and we have a one uh, uh, topic per month. Let's talk about the, the, uh, the, the, the topic that you held in this one that ended on the, is it on the 23rd of March? And that also you said had to do with marketing. What can you share with our viewers about the importance of marketing themselves effectively using whatever channels that they are there? What did the coaches have to share? This has been such so amazing um, because the coaches were very specific about first understanding the purpose of your business the why, uh, but also really key nuggets in terms of how cost-effective marketing is these days with digital and social, uh, but also how to take care of your brand and ensure brand sustainability. Uh, we've seen quite a, a number of questions also come through after the series. Um, the two experts that we had on the pan panel uh, previously was Pepe Marais from Joe Public and Nombini Mashlamakulu, uh, who is from Luazi Capital. Well, for the next one, we'll have two experts from Imperial and and, and Telcom were also in the C-suite in terms of uh, uh, marketing, and they specifically are going to look at how to distinguish their businesses in the social media space. Yeah, I'm hoping that you saw the insert that we just ran now of the entrepreneur in um, Pumalanga, Busiso Shabango, and who has come up with his own biofuel uh, company. And I'm trying to make to play matchmaker here to see if this is something that you would extend yourselves to him, so that you know he stands a bigger chance of scaling up and growing and having his business really. Um, uh, really benefiting the Mbumalanga uh, economy. 
Galva, that is such an important uh, um, piece that you ran. I, I was so excited when I saw it. Uh, firstly, you know, we with a country with a lot of challenges, it also provides a lot of opportunities to be innovative. And it's good to see, and that's what entrepreneurship is about. It's about innovation, innovation and solving problems. And definitely, this is why we're doing what we're doing as a JSE. Our intention is to develop our economy, help create jobs, and help businesses grow yeah. through different channels. So um, in, in various ways, we should be able to, to assist him and plug him also into the right uh, uh, channels. If, if some of our programs that don't fit what he needs. Right. Tiela Gunene is the head of SME development at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and she's been ta talking to us about um, the enterprise development initiatives that they're doing as the JSE uh, speed coaching sessions in particular and that's all from SME on point for this week. Please remember to support small businesses in your communities and keep those rents and circulating as well as those cents. Keep them circulating around your communities. Your weather details are up next with them to do but I'll I'll have more news for you at the top of the hour.